Hi Libra, it's Ia Patsy here and I'm doing your reading for the month of May 2018. We're going to be using the um, Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radden Valentine. And we'll be also using the uh, Guidance, Goddess Guidance, Guide, Goddess Guidance Oracle cards, also by Doreen Virtue. And we'll be using the numerology deck by um, Michelle Bachman, Buchanan rather. Why do I always say Michelle Bachman? Too much politics on my mind. <laughs> and the Native Spirit Oracle. Okay. Um, also the Mermaids and Dolphins cards, also by Doreen Virtue. And maybe um, Postcards from Spirit at the end. So, this is going to be five positions. And let's see what Spirit has to say to us today. So, I hope everybody had a good holiday, Easter. And I have been, uh, I did two uh, of the signs already. But... Mercury retrograde ain't no joke, folks. And I have been feeling it pretty strongly. So, it's um, not unexpected. It's just huh, exhausting. And I had to, like, really, like, take a couple of days after Easter and then... Uh, a day after that, a couple of days after that, I did the readings for Aries because it's their birthday month, and for um, who else did I do? Hmm. See, I can't even remember what I did, but anyway, I want to say Aquarius, no Virgo, sorry Virgo, because they have had the um, the highest views this past month, so. Um, but today I'm just doing it as I'm led because, uh, it depends. I just have to go with whatever spirit says as my energy. So it had, gave me the energy today. They've given me the energy today to do Libra and we'll see if we can get, squeeze another couple in after that. So let's focus on Libra. So, first five cards we got here in your spread, first one here is Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. This also talks about environmental activism. Okay, so, this is talking about getting ready to, to go forward, all right? Something is changing. And it's going to call on you to be ready for it. So you get, you're getting a, a warning. The next card that came out was the moon. Number 18. One and eight is nine. So this is information from your ancestors, your ego, your spirit guides. An opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate gu guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So, I think this is telling you that there's some, some secrets, some information that you might not have, but your intuition has been giving you some signals and you are tuning into it. You know that there's something's up and they're telling you to get ready for it. So... There is something going on behind the scenes, but it's not negative for you. It's an opportunity for improvement. So maybe you have some friends or some your, where you work. Maybe they're speaking well of you. You know, maybe somebody's recommended you for a... Um, 
another position, you know, increase in um, pay, higher status. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The bottom of the deck, the um, energy was the lovers. Archangel Raphael. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments and the power of love. So this seems like it's talking about you learning something in regards to the way you operate. It said make choices from your heart. So it sounds like there's going to be some situation presented to you and you have to decide whether you're going to go with your logic or you're going to go with your heart. I think that's what's being said. Get ready for it. Some things are going to come to light that you need to know that may not be bad. Third position here is the star. This is a dream comes true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Very good. And this is 17. 1 and 7 is 8. 8 is infinity. I've been here all morning and ain't nobody called. Now I'm doing this. There's the phone. I'm not even going to mess with it. Mm -mm. Nobody I need to talk to. It's the 800 number. Okay, so. Whatever. This is like something is being healed. Like temperance brings balance, star brings healing. Love, passion. But it's something that you've been working on, something that you've been waiting on, something that you've been hoping for. It says it's here. It's here for you, Libra. That sounds pretty good to me. Next card you got here is the Queen of Michael. Are they serious? <clears throat> okay. This talks about No. Anyway. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Queen of Michael. This is someone who is self-reliant, brilliant, humorous, someone with a good sense of humor, someone who follows her intuition. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. So, this is talking about Calling on your prior experiences, specifically what you, the lessons that you've been learning, the lessons about spirit, the lessons about divinity, the lessons about your power, the gifts that you've been given, okay? And so, it's telling you to focus on your career. Don't worry about love relationships or family relationships, or co-worker relationships. Focus on yourself. Focus on your work. Focus on your intuition, your uh, attachment to spirit. You're going to be using all of the tools that you have gained in the last few months, years, since you started this spiritual, this last, this latest part of your spiritual journey, 
and all the things that you have experienced, all the things that you've gone through, all the little lessons that you've learned and little tricks of the trade. This is telling you to focus on that and have confidence. Confidence on in your skills, confidence in what you bring to yourself. Focus on what you, the gifts that you've been given. Your sense of humor, the way you deliver things, the way you present yourself. Focus on that. This is about you just leaving things in the hands of God. All the problems, everything that's been stressing you out, whatever, even during this metro, re, metrograde time. I can't even talk. Hmm. But <laughs> it's telling you that everything is all right. You are, you're going to be prepared. You're going to know the answers, the things that have been eluding you, the stuff that you weren't sure about, things that your intuition was telling you but you didn't have tangible proof of. You're going to get the proof. Everything's going to be fine. And you're going to be able to handle it with humor and intelligence. Very nice. And in the last position, you got two cards. First card you got here was the Eight of Gabriel. So this is talking about messages coming in, a lot of activity, things happening, things speeding up, immediate results, important communications. So you're going to be hearing some important communications. And um, it's going to, if you haven't already, so this is going to be in the month of May, right? So this is April. So this can be anywhere from now until the end of May. Okay? Eight of Gabriel. Lots of activity, lots of messages. Um, things being shaken up, it seems. Something's going to be different. Change your life. Number 16. One is six is seven. Seven is creation, right? Um, being satisfied with the work that you've done the completion but presenting your work as a finished product a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings so you're gonna there's gonna be some quick changes going on in your life very soon Libra Things are going to happen really quickly. And it's just telling you to be prepared for it. It's giving you a little hint that it's going to be revealing some things that you've been... You might not even know that you didn't know. Okay? Maybe there are things that you didn't know intuitively. But you're going to get that information too. But the things that you knew intuitively, you're going to get confirmation of it. But you're going to handle it with grace and comedy and leadership and insight and you're not going to let this rattle you whatever it is but whatever this is it's going to be in your in your good it's going to be for your good unexpected but for your good Ashe. okay looks good thank goodness i was not in the mood for no bad news today okay so good messages coming to you that are going to change your life just be ready for it and you will be because you're getting this reading today right so let's see what other messages we can get for you today from the mermaids and dolphins okay soulmate relationship a new, new romance with a, with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Okay, so this is going to be, um, maybe you'll be hearing from your soulmate if you're in touch with them. If not, whoever it is that you're interested in, um, or not who you're interested in because you, maybe you don't even know them. But the sudden events, the change, maybe you making contact with your soulmate, although... This could also be talking about if you're in separation from your uh, soulmate, 
you will be reunited. But if you haven't met the soulmate yet, or you were dealing with a false twin, or um, whatever is going on, either the person who you thought was your soulmate is going to confirm that that's who indeed they are, or someone new's coming and that person will be your soulmate. You'll know. You'll know when it happens. Pray about it. Tune into your spirit guides. Anybody that comes with anything, tune in. Pray about it. Don't turn it away, but take your time and check their credentials. If they're not on the level with you, spiritually that they are open or they can teach you something at the stage you're at now you're not dragging no um dead weight they gotta be at least you know they can't be ned the wino on the corner they have to at least <laughs> they have to at least have some type of uh they, they will show you that they have done their work. This is not for you, something that somebody that you're going to have to pull up out of the gutter or pull up, you know, out of uh, something else. That All that work's been done. All that work's been done. They took care of, the spirit took care of that. The divine stepped in about that for this person already. Wait. <laughs> Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. And have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Don't even sweat it. Whatever's going on, if it has to do with work, just have faith. If it has to do with a relationship, it's going to be fine. Just have faith. If, whatever it is, your, 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 your kids, your wife, your husband, the supervisor, whatever, it's okay. Pray about it. Even that supervisor, some kind of a soulmate relationship. I'm not saying that there's love. I'm just saying that this person is in your life for a reason. You and this person have contact for a reason. And whatever it is that you're looking forward to, Whatever you have earned, it's coming. Just wait and have faith. I'll say. Very, very good. Okay, so let's see what the Conscious Spirit Oracle cards have to say for you, Libra, for the time period between now and the end of May, because this is your May 2018 monthly reading. So let's see what Conscious Spirit has to say. Okay. It says at day's rest, at day's end rest, number 40. This is about you. This is about you taking care of yourself. This is about your foundation. Okay. What holds you up? And this came in the reverse. So it's saying that you haven't been getting proper rest. Maybe you've been fretting. Maybe you've been worrying about stuff. Maybe you've been working too hard. Okay, worrying about the work that you're doing, whether or not it's going to get a good review, or you know, maybe you put in for a promotion. That was the word I was looking for before. A promotion, and you've been just running yourself ragged. It's telling you to rest. It's the rest that you've earned. My lord. Excuse me, folks. I'm just going to turn this telephone on. This don't make any sense. Okay. So, 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 so sorry. Let's do this. Turn this off.
Okay, let's see if it works. I'm so sorry. It must be uh, <clears throat> time for our area code to get the campaign telephone calls. Oh my goodness. All right, folks. So sorry for that interruption. So again, Libra, they're telling you that you need to relax. You need to get some rest, maybe take a vacation, find some peace so you can connect with spirit. And the next card that came out here, hmm. Flames of Wisdom, the Crone. I'm open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. So this is talking about taking in all that you've been told, all that you've been learning up until now, as far as your spiritual path, uh, path and the tools that you've been given in order to um, connect with spirit, in order to um, hmm, cope, your coping skills that you have been given in order to navigate this life that we're experiencing today. So there are people around you that have wisdom. You also may be one of those people with wisdom. You're going to be sharing those lessons and sharing those that gratitude. But you're doing it while you are learning yourself and while you are incorporating those tools and gifts in your own life for your own good but you're going to be an example people are going to say okay she did it he did it i can do it too and you're going to be there to encourage people and you're going to be able to give them hmm, access to those coping mechanisms and those skills they're going to be able to see it in action they're going to see you working it right along with them all right and uh they're going to be happy and grateful to you and you are going to be grateful to source you're going to be grateful that the divine has given you this opportunity and that the divine has given you wisdom and the ability to put these tools to work so that these things that normally may have thrown you off balance, they don't have that power anymore because there's a greater goal. It's not about love relationships right now. It's about integrity. It's about spirit. It's about being an example sharing your wisdom, embracing your gifts, taking care of yourself, getting rest, being good to yourself, and being grateful as you wait. All right, so let's see now. If we can get a message from the goddess guidance Cards by Doreen Virtue. All of these decks were already shuffled days ago when I put them away and when I'm setting up in the morning to do this because I just don't jump down, come down here and jump on stuff I have to do. If it looks smoky in here, it's because I was burning. I was giving my ancestors um, ancestral money. That's one of the uh, offerings that I give. And usually once a week or every other week. And I'm just so grateful. So before I could do anything else, I made sure I did that for them. I've talked about that in other videos, but... Uh, That's what I was led to do this morning when I was coming down. 
stairs. I don't have a set day to do those things. Usually Mondays and Tuesdays, but like I said, this week has been pretty exhausting. And uh, but one when, when I have the energy, I take care of my my ego first and foremost. Okay. Unag. Unag. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. That's why they're telling you to wait and have patience. And tap into the experiences that you have, the tools that you have. Easy does it. Mm. Okay, let me look. Una. Una. That's how you pronounce it. Una. The Celtic goddess Una was married to Fionbar the leader of the Irish Tutha de Dines. Una and her clan were some of the original inhabitants of Ireland. When the Gales invaded their land, the Tuthas didn't run or fight back. Instead, they transformed themselves into leprechauns. Their ingenious solution allowed them to stay in Ireland in peace. Call upon Una for help with your own transitions and she'll guide you in creative and magical ways. This is the message from Una. Nurturing a cause or a relationship is a long-term commitment and one that can't be rushed. This level of devotion comes from a place of deep loving and concern. I care what happens in my planet and to my loved ones so much that I'm willing to stick with them through thick and thin. This isn't always easy, but to me, it's the only way to ensure that matters are resolved and healed. I listen to the passionate stirrings of my heart. I reach out and take action to let my loved ones know that I deeply care for them. I take action to spur on my pet causes. Never mind what other people think. You will benefit by carrying through with your promises. You'll feel good about yourself if you make time for the relationships and projects that truly count in your heart. Do what's important to you and do it with absolute devotion. But remember that there's no competition for your true life's purpose. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to hurry or feel that you have to force things to happen. This card talks about not worrying about the purpose of your goals. Don't make any sudden moves. Slow, steady progress is the best right now. Ease into your new life instead of rushing into it. Do your new work as a part-time venture to begin with while slowly exiting from your old career. Okay, so if you're taking up a new um, job or you're gonna do something home-based business or something like that, don't just quit your job and start mon you know, your new job on Monday, a uh, home-based business. Take your time, do it part-time, do it on the side whenever you have a chance to break and wait until you have a steady rhythm or a steady flow of income something that's reliable that you can count on before you stop your regular, you know, secular mundane job that you've been doing for years that you're tired of. If you're not planning on doing a home-based business, it's just saying to take your time with your work. Enjoy it. Savor it. Chill. Relax. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out in the best 
way possible for all concerned. Remember that. The best for all concerned. And sometimes we're human. We don't want to know that people who you feel slighted by or hurt by or whatever, that they're going to reap any benefits while you're going through. Don't worry about what they get. Just know that you're going to get. And whatever you're going to get is going to be perfect for you. And it's going to come at the perfect time with love. Love of your ancestors and the love of the divine. Remember, everybody has ancestors and the divine loves us all. Oh. I didn't even see the card. Personal growth, number seven. Hey. Here we got a seven again. Personal growth. Completion of a progress of a project. Work well done. This card indicates a time of significant growth and improvement. You're encouraged to be the best that you can be. Ask yourself, who am I? What do I want for my life? When you ask yourself these questions, observe whatever comes up. What do I want? What is preventing me from achieving it? Then acknowledge your mental and physical limitations. Set realistic goals for overcoming them and take the necessary steps to follow through. With desire and determination, you'll reach your full potential. You're being encouraged to investigate anything that helps raise your conscious awareness and enhances your self-esteem. It could be a book, a CD, online seminar, workshop, health program, yoga practice, or meditation. Or it could just be working as an energy worker or a therapist or a life coach, whatever suits your needs. A step in this direction, regardless of what it is, will set you up for life. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you toward a time of significant growth and improvement. And as you improve yourself, you improve your quality of life. As you raise your awareness, you align yourself with source. This is all you need to make your dreams come true. The affirmation here is, as I improve myself, I improve the circumstances of my life. Ah, Shay, very good. So, personal growth. Easy does it. Take it easy. Have faith. Be patient and wait. Soulmate relationship is coming into your life. Recognize it. Understand that it's a spiritual relationship. It's not your average run-of-the-mill hookup. <laughs> it may not be a hookup at all. But there is a lesson and there is a gift coming in the same package. Okay. Now, who haven't we heard from today? Oh, Native Spirit Oracle. Yes. Let's see what they say. Hmm? Is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, these are by Denise Lynn. So, let's see what Native Spirit has to add to this really good reading today. I hope you're enjoying it. I think it's great. I think it's, tell, it's, it's giving you the roadmap of what to do. Maybe it's a comfort for some of you, some of us who've been 
having some crazy stuff going on right now during this Mercury retrograde. You may have lost contact with someone. Someone may, you may not have heard from them or they may be acting a little standoffish. Or, um, hmm, just things are not going right with your electronics and your cell phone. Electronic stuff and, um, all that acts up during these Mercury retrogrades, from what I understand. But it's like Murphy's Law. Whatever could go wrong, does go wrong during this time. And it's going to be with us until around April 15th. Maybe lingering until the end of May because of, you know, residuals and whatever. But um, if you've been uh, having things go a little haywire, you know, like, I want to say, um, like Three Stooges type stuff. <laughs> you know, like what? Things that you never expect to happen. You know, uh, people that you never expect to act certain ways are just doing it. And so what they're telling you to do is not to rush to any conclusions. Not to lose your temper. Try not to lose your temper. And utilize the lessons that you've had thus far and everything is there to help you you have you have the tools you know and if you've forgotten all you gotta do is pray about it and open your heart and open your ears and open your mind to accept the messages as they come and follow the guidance you'll be fine and you'll have clarity eventually you'll know what's going on a dream is coming true so from native spirit tribal spirit dancer tribal spirit dancer This looks so pretty and looks like freedom. Looks like freedom, but it looks like romantic freedom. Just because of the colors and all of the birds, it just looks like peace to me. Mm. So let's see. Okay, okay, so do you say? Tribal spirit dancer. What is the message? All righty. Okay, this card says, let go. Say yes to life. Be daring. Dance to your heart's desire. Unfurl your wings and fly. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Tune into the rhythm of life. Laugh, explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Sometimes life is messy and chaotic and that's okay. Leave the dishes run outside in the sprinklers <laughs> that's funny <laughs> oh yeah your native spirit wants you to know you're on this planet to be free you don't always need to meet the expectations of others you're here to explore expand expand and step into your ordinary self into your extraordinary self you're here to explore expand and step into your extraordinary self of course, there are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to joyously fling your arms to the heavens and dance. Choose life on your terms. Clear out mental and emotional clutter. Move beyond those situations that you have outgrown. Don't accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. This is your time. Don't delay listening to the rhythms of your heart 
and following your own dreams. The journey is to turn on music and move. Tribal dance isn't about looking good. It's about feeling the beat inside your heart and expressing this with your body and with your emotions. If you want to break free, then start first by expressing yourself wild and free and the circumstances of your life will transform. Ah, shit. Yes. So dance. Dance. Get into those rhythms. Turn on that music. All that music that they used to play on Saturday mornings, everybody get up and, and clean the house and all of this. Y'all know what I'm talking about, some of y'all. Put some of that music on. All right? Put something in that's going to give you that desire to move. Something that fills your heart with power, with power and clarity and encouragement. I think I told y'all before, um, my son, whenever he hears me play certain records, certain records, like, okay, I'm old, okay, but certain songs, he knows that I'm trying to get myself out of whatever funk I'm in at the time. Oh, and I get into funks, believe me, I'm just like everybody else. I'm going through this journey right along with you. But that song, um, Step by Step by Whitney Houston, hmm, that's like my war, you know, uh, song. That's 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 the, the, the cry. When I when that's going on, whatever I gotta do, I get up and I just start moving. I, I feel it, you know, it's, it's that tribal beat in there. And to me, that's how I, f I feel it. And I'll get up and I'll start moving and I'll start dancing. Even if I have tears in my eyes, I could be crying, streaming, you know, tears down my face. But I get that energy going. And after that, I'm listening to uh, Alicia Keys tell me, this girl is on fire. Encouraging myself with the tools that I have been given. There's a reason why I like those songs. There's a reason why those songs speak to me and get me going. So that when I have times like this Mercury, Mercury retrograde nonsense, I can uh, get through it somehow. It does take a toll, but... I have tools. I know I can maybe make myself a nice cup of tea, something to soothe myself. You know, I know that I can maybe turn on a married to medicine and see these educated, beautiful women who are having problems in their relationships just like I am, just like you are. No one's immune. Right? Misery loves company. <laughs> so, to cheer you up when you see other people going through too. But, that's just being, you know, <laughs> lower vibration. <laughs> but, know that you're not alone. Know that you can handle it. Other people have handled it before you. Your egg groom have handled, it before, handled these things before you. And that's why they're here to tell you. You got this. You're doing this. You'll be fine. And at the end, you're going to get a gift. All this work hasn't been for nothing. God is not going to abandon you. It's just, as they have always said, your blessing is going to come. It just might not look the way you thought it was going to look. And that doesn't make it a bad thing. That makes it an absolute good thing because they're going to give you what you couldn't even imagine was possible for you to have. I remember in church when I was young, somebody brought a message and it said, it has never, it hasn't even entered into the hearts and minds of man the gifts that God has in store for those who believe 
And in all my years of going to church, and by this time I must have been 20, I'd been going to that church since I was like 10 or 11, nine maybe. And when I heard that, I was moved. I was, you know, it was a Pentecostal church, you know, everybody catches the spirit and, you know, all of that. And that's cool, but I just never felt it like that. I felt it, but I never, you know, got filled with the Holy Spirit and ran up and down the aisles and fell out and all of that stuff. I never did that. But that day, when I heard those words, it touched my heart in a way. It was like a revelation of some sort of something. It was just like, mm, it spoke to me. And I got the spirit that day. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. I danced, I hollered, I cried. But it was something that it just was like so fulfilling to me, those words that even the things that I expect as much that I could want for myself, that God wants more for me and has a plan that's going to give me something that I've never dreamed of. And it has been true over my life. I'm grateful today. I look back and say, how, what? Did you really do all of this, Pat? Did you do this? God did this for me. For me. And continues to do things every day for my better good. And get up in devotional service and people would testify and I'd always be thankful for the dangers seen and unseen because I don't even know the dangers that I've been protected from none of us do you may think that you know but there may have been other things coming at you that never even got anywhere near you because it wasn't for you to experience at that time. So whatever it is that you're experiencing now, know that it's happening because it's being allowed to happen for a reason. For your greater good, for the greater good of humanity, because you got lessons to share and you have work to do. But all your hard work is not gonna be for nothing. And it comes with a, re a reward. It comes with a reward. And they want you to be ready for it and handle it with the grace and the good spirit. Honoring yourself and honoring your lessons. All right, so let's see if we can get a card from Postcards from Spirit. And these are by Colette Baron Reed. Get you a message from Spirit. Mm, I shave them. Thank you. Let's see if Spirit has a message for Libra. Any more messages? <laughs> Any additional messages? Thank you. Take flight. Dearest you, there is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more, to every story. And hundreds of ways to be right, to be different, to be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks, 
or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, different experiences, and different journeys. And some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common grounds are reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. All right, so you can screenshot that later. Hopefully it'll be clear. Thank you, Spirit, for that message. Personal growth. Tribal spirit dancer. Freedom. Freedom to take flight. Thank you, Libra. And thank you, Avon. Thank you. So, I'll be talking to you guys um, middle of the month. We'll be doing your love bite from mid-April to mid-May, right? So this is your reading for the month of May 2018, Libra. I hope that these messages resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and share. If you hit the notification button after you subscribe, then you'll know whenever I do a live reading because sometimes I feel like doing it live and sometimes I just record it. Depends on how I feel, all right? So, Thank you very much for your patience. Apologize again for the telephone. And I will be seeing you guys soon, all right? And yes, I will be doing the Akashic Tarot readings again. Um, they take a lot of energy also, and I'm just not up to it right now. But uh, definitely we'll get back to that. We'll get back to the Orisha cards also because there are messages that we need to get from them too. And... Uh, so all of those things that you all have been asking for, yes, they will be um, put back in. We got a whole year, folks. We're just at, actually, we're only in April, right? So we still got eight more months. Don't worry about it. And plus, I got new cards coming. Oh, my goodness. I know. I need to stop, but I can't help myself. I want to get as much, as many tools as I can to be able to bring these messages to you all. In a way that makes sense. Right? And it's from spirit. So, I'll be talking to you guys soon. And thanks for your patience. 